Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Nurse Anne, uh, and I'm, today I'm going to share to you my experience of taking jurisprudence exam and what are the tips uh, for you to pass this test. Okay, so now let's talk about what is this uh, nursing jurisprudence exam. All right, so this examination assesses your knowledge and understanding about the nursing profession in Texas in terms of the nursing regulation, scope of practice, professional responsibility and accountability, ethical practice, as well as the nurse-client relationship. So uh, basically those will be the topics of this test. And this test is a requirement for you to take uh, the NCLEX exam. One is, uh, uh, what is this exam about? Or what are the steps of completion for this exam. First is you have to register on their site, which is the bon.texas.gov. Uh, you have to register and make an account uh, prior for a BON account. All right, and then uh, after paying for the exam, I think this exam costs fifty-eight dollars. Uh, you have to register for the exam and then log in, and right away you can begin the test. Okay, upon um registration there you have to type or answer five security or identity validation questions please take a note of these questions because during the test these uh, security validation questions will pop up every 15 minutes okay so you have to take note of the answers that you type on the security um, validation questions or the identity validation questions Next is for the result, once you're done taking the test, right away the result will show pass or fail uh, with the score of how many percent you, uh, you, you, I mean, how many percent you finished the exam and uh, they will give you a certificate. If you pass the test, right away there will be, you can access the certificate and then save it and I think noted to print it. Just save it in a, one of the folder, save the file, and still you can access the certificate every time you log into your uh, BUN account. Okay, and this uh, result, exam result, will be automatically reported to the the Texas Board of Nursing system. Okay, yeah. So um, that's it for the test information. Uh, what is this test? What consists of this test? Um, the test has uh, 50 items and 50 items and you will have two hours to complete the NJE the passing score is 75% which means you have to correctly answer seven uh, 38 items out of 50 questions so 38 correct answers at least for you to get the the passing score Next is you are permitted to access the Board of Nursing website. So it means this is an open book exam. You're allowed. Um, the exam looks like this. So question and then four options, A, B, C, D. And the lower part of the screen or the, webs or the website, uh, it will show you a link where you can access the answer. Not specifically access the answer. Uh, it will show you the link for the BON website, Board of Nursing website, um, where the topic is there. Topic about the answer is there. So uh, you can also, since this is an open book, you can also for, uh, open other resource material throughout the exam and locate the answers to each question. So um, Take a note, do not exit the NJA window in your computer. Just open another window for, your, for you where you search the answers for each question. All right, thereby leaving this window open to access reference material on the BON uh, is allowed. Okay, next is uh, once you're in the exam, uh, you have to read, read each question carefully because there is only one answer for each question. So th there's no select all that apply, no. Just A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, or D, and then just choose the best answer for each um, questions. And you are not allowed to use the 
back button. So it means to say, uh, once you click A, B, or C, or just one uh, option, click one op option, then you have to click submit. That's your final answer. No way, no way for you to access the previous um, question or to check or to change a previously answered question. So yeah, so that's the, um, the test information. Now let's go to the tips. For the tips, number one, it's very important is to know your security uh, verification answer with, or your identity validation answer. Uh, upon registration, they will ask you these five questions uh, questions consist of one is what is the name of your favorite pet two what is the name of your facu favorite faculty member three what is the name of your nursing school four your favorite nursing subject five is what year did you graduate in high school yeah so those five questions uh, will prompt on your screen every 15 minutes once you start the exam these um, identity validation questions will prompt in your screen and you have to answer them correctly word per word uh, correct spelling lowercase uppercase it should be exact with space no space on what cap what is the uh, with the correct character that you use upon registration it should be the exact answer uh, when you type it in your screen and you're only allowed to take uh, to answer it for 60 seconds so um, one tip is uh, you have better once you take the exam make a word pad or a separate word document where you already type these security questions answers so that you can just copy paste copy paste every time they prompt on your screen so that's number one, to know your security very question, verification question answers because it's very useful all throughout the exam. Two is to have a good internet connection. Again, as I mentioned, um, you should not close the window where you're taking the NJE exam or the test. Uh, just open another window for you to search the answer for each question because this is an open book. It will allow you to access the BON site it will allow you to access other sites for you to, to, to search for the answers. So beside the NJE window or the nursing jurisprudence exam, just open another window for you for, for searching of answers. Um, so that's two, have a good internet connection. Uh, three is um, read some, of course, you have to prepare yourself, um, read some materials, uh, about the topics, about the nursing laws, uh, board of nursing topics, um, nurse-client relationship, what else? Um, yeah, that's it. The personal conduct. Uh, just to read about the topic. And another is that in the site of Texas Board of Nursing, you can actually purchase the nursing jurisprudence prep course. I think it's around $25. This prep course um, offers an overview and an interactive instruction on the subject areas covered in the exam. The course is delivered online with the ability to bookmark uh, hot topics for a quick review. Or And this course completes with a training how to locate information for further review. And yeah, um, this course is, is uh, just for you if you want really to have an overview or an idea of what will be the questions, what are the topics of this exam. But it's not necessary. Actually, I would not um, suggest you to purchase this prep course, the $25 prep course. You can actually just do the test right away. Yeah. Okay. Just read uh, some of the topics online. There are a lot of materials and even on the Texas Board of Nursing online as website itself, you can access those topics. Okay, next is to have a quiet environment and just a lot, this two hour period for you to take the exam and focus, read carefully each items. Because what I did is I took this test around 4 a.m. And I have a sleeping toddler at that time. I thought my toddler won't wake up. 
but she did. I was just at, at my number four question. I think at round three or number four question, and then she woke up. She was crying. So I, I got anxious. I panicked a little. So what I did, I can't bring the laptop in the bedroom. What I did is I, I took her <laughs> with me, cuddled her, and she was crying, and I can't focus on the test. So yeah, it's not a, it's really inadvisable for you to have a qu a quiet environment uh, space for you to take this test. A quiet room where there is a good internet connection, just for two hours, yeah, yeah. or or less. Yeah. Again, uh, just a reminder: no need for you to finish the two hours period. You can take the test uh, less than two hours, and it will. F if you're done, it will show that the the result right away next is you have to open another window where you can search the answer just prepare that window um, good site will be the quizlet.com most of the questions from the test are there the answers to the questions and answers most of the topics are there just register on that site quizlet.com a day that you will take the exam so that you can access uh, all of its um, items or questions in that site and then learn the control the shortcut which are control C for copy and control V for paste so copy paste because it saves you time when searching the answers for each question again um, the time is running and then there will be every 15 minutes a pop-up question for the the security validation questions yeah, so better learn the control C for copy, control V for paste. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, and then you have to to pray and prepare yourself and pray that you'll have a presence of mind and read some of the materials also so that you'll be confident uh, while taking this course, I mean te this test. So yeah, so those are my tips. And I wish you good luck and just think positive that you can do it. This exam is easy. It's for you. You got this. So that's it. So those are my tips for, for you to pass the nursing jurisprudence exam. Okay. Thank you very much for listening and watching. And hopefully you will please, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you and good luck. Bye.